Hi, this is Ray Shaleen from Pro Shaper Sheet Metal in Charlton, Massachusetts. And what you're looking at here is a uh, drawing that we did on our special drawing board. Uh, it's a drawing of a 1948 Studebaker futuristic car that was done originally by Virgil Exner. And it's the only drawing that exists as far as I know. And uh, there's a lot of problems in the drawing. It's uh, sort of an idealization so to make it into a practical car we've got to make a bunch of little changes and uh, first off we want to be able to make a buck for this project because we're going to use this project in our coach building class as a, a learning uh, platform for the students so we got to get a wire form together within two weeks time and the first step of doing the wire forms, we've been uh, making a bunch of them and we're evolving the process. And uh, the traditional way is to do uh, a drawing like this on a big board. This is going back to the 20s and 30s and then translating that into uh, a buck of some sort. It could have been wood. Uh, the Italians used a lot of wire form. Uh, I prefer the wire form over a wooden buck because of uh, you can uh, get a good viewability from the back side of the buck versus uh, uh, on a wire form buck versus a wood buck. So uh, one of the first steps is getting this full scale drawing and that's uh, an impediment to a lot of people. A lot of people now are trying to adopt the CAD method and you can do drawings in CAD and then you can slice up the CAD drawing and then have a uh, wood buck made with all the this, this wood stations and stuff but as I said those are very difficult to to use as opposed to a, a wire form so the wire form has to be bent by hand and you need lines in order to bend the wire form so uh, we have a system here that we've developed and it's a very simple system. It's accessible to everybody. This board I made about five years ago. I had it at my other shop in Connecticut and brought it up here to my shop in Charlton. And it's uh, just a, a half inch square tubing, steel tubing framework. And then it has, I think, like 30,000 galvanized steel on it. So it's a steel board. It's five feet tall, 20 feet long. And I had found this uh, material here, which is basically refrigerator magnet. It's a plastic with uh, some kind of iron embedded into it, and then they magnetize it. And in one, one side of it is, is pretty good. It'll hold onto the steel. So when you're doing your lines, this is very similar to a CAD program where you can put a line on and then you can adjust the line any way you want it. It's like infinitely adjustable and this quarter inch width uh, is, is very user friendly for making pretty tight curves and everything. So this is a real quick system that you can use to develop uh, a full scale drawing. Once you get the magnets where you need them, then you can take a magic marker and run the magic marker on both sides of this quarter inch magnet strip and then you have a nice uh, landing so to speak for the wire when you bend the wires so this is the side view has uh, this, this is the most important line here your top side view line and that's where the whole wire form is going to start from that point so we'll bend this quarter inch wire to fit this and then we're going to fit it onto this platform here. This platform again is a, an evolution. That, it's a system that we've been evolving it's into a nice little design. Now the problem when you do uh, a free form wire form like this, but and well, it's not really free form. You're bending into the lines, but there's a lot of potential for error to creep in. So this is the error corrector system, so to speak. So we've got a real stable uh, platform that we built up. This is Unistrut, which is a very common material. And we, we put a little slider uh, bolt boss in there. And we will put angle iron pieces, inch and a half uh, by inch and a half by eighth inch wall angle iron pieces at assorted spots along here. Now, those angle irons become the base for 
uh, rectangle boxes that we will make out of angle iron and the size of the boxes will be determined by the drawing. So right here we could have a really big box that would support the the top of that uh, roof structure which is plexiglass in this case but we still need that line there. So we'll, we've got to do this is our side view drawing. Next we're going to do the top view drawing and between the side view and top view drawings we'll be able to determine how big the box structures will be. And the box structures all get put in the exact same place that they will be noted on in the drawing and they will all be symmetrical and we have a center line here that we've developed so this first wire has got to be lined up with that center line and as you build the, 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 the wire form structure you have the potential of measuring your symmetry from left to right using those box structures as you construct them. That's a big problem is, is uh, making ensuring in the symmetry when you do a wire form. Now as I mentioned if you if you did a uh, CNC router uh, operation on wood stations then yeah you can make them so they all interlock and they're all going to be symmetrical and everything but you have this big matrix and you're fitting panels over that it's very difficult to see the back side of the panel how it's fitting and it's almost impossible to clamp to them the wire form has no problem being able to view and no problem being able to clamp the big major stumbling block of using a wire form is ensuring symmetry and that's what we're doing by using this platform with the boxes we will uh, ensure that symmetry so the next step will be like I said earlier is making this top view drawing and all the lines will be projected off of what we got here as far as where the wheels go and everything and we'll probably have to refine these lines a little bit and eventually we'll have all the lines. These side view lines are going to be done in a black pen and then we do the top view we'll do them in a red pen. We do the end view, uh, rear view and the front view we can do those in another color pen and all those lines will be on this one piece of paper. What this paper is is, is common Tyvek that's used to wrap a house with and it's a great uh, medium to, to do these drawings on because it's so strong and uh, it's pretty accessible. We get it at Home Depot and we'll get these wires bent up in next week and we'll start assembling this and we'll keep putting out uh, some progress pictures of how this wire form is coming together and this wire form is going to be used in my December coach building class and that's going to be the precursor for what we're doing in 2018. In 2018 we're going to be building a lot of these cars built by from wire forms. If you go on my website ProShaper.com you'll see what my intent is and um, we're going to continue to knock these out probably like I said in, in, the, in my website seven of them totally by the end of next year and the students will be able to utilize these as learning experiences. This one here is just an outstanding design. I think it's going to be pretty inspiring and challenging for the students. So right now I have a, a special on in my class where you get two classes for the price of one as a window. The, the dates for the window, uh, the, the expiration is uh, I think November 24th I believe. Uh, it's on my website and if you buy the class now these would be for 2018 classes you get actually two classes you get my four day coach building class and you also get a three day finishing class so hope to see you at the class soon Ray Shaleen, Charlton Massachusetts thank you